Hi Covenant family, my name is Elisa Hillberry and I work with the student ministries at Covenant. I'm so glad to be here with you guys for this Covenant Daily. And I wanted to share with you all a verse that has been really impactful to me in the last several years of my life and one that I think is so very relevant for what all of us are facing right now. And it is 2 Corinthians 12, 9 that says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. My grace is sufficient for you. In a time when all of us are feeling lack, lack of finances, lack of social interaction, lack of job, lack of work, lack of things to do, God's grace is sufficient. All of the things that we need in our life are found in Him. And when this world is telling us that we have to panic, when this world is telling us we have to fear, that we have to be anxious, what we know as believers is that God's grace is in fact sufficient for us. All of the fear that is inside of us, God's grace is sufficient. We don't need to fear because he has given us everything that we need. And some of us are facing real lack right now. Grocery store shelves are empty. So many businesses are closed. The reality of that lack is true. It is there and we are all feeling it in different ways. And even in spite of that, we know that our hope is not based on our circumstances, that we can lose our jobs we can lose the ability to have our kids off at school and in their separate times with their peers. We can lose all of those things and yet God's grace is still sufficient for us because our hope is in Christ and in his death on the cross and not in anything that this world has to give us. My, his grace is sufficient for us. And now my power is made perfect in weakness. What a joyful thing for us to hear in a time when all of us feel weak. We have lost control over our lives. We have no power anymore. We have no power over our daily schedules. We can't drive around. We can't go and do the normal things that we are used to doing. We can't go to our jobs as we are used to doing. We can't have our families function as they normally would. All of the things that we have controlled in our life have been lost. We've had to resort to digital communication for everything. And that's difficult, it's hard, it makes us feel weak and out of control. But that's good news because God has given this opportunity to recognize that we are in fact weak. We are just as weak now as we were three weeks ago. We are in fact weak. But in that weakness, God's power is made perfect. God has the ability to work in and through us, no matter how in control and powerful we are feeling, his power is at work, even when we are feeling completely weak. And what a joyous thing for us to know, to share with our families, like, hey, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm not in control of my life, but I know the one who is in control and his power is being made perfect even now his kingdom is being built even now nothing can stop what god is doing in this world no matter how weak and out of control we feel so what encouragement brothers and sisters in the midst of this really difficult time where we are all feeling the struggle of isolation loneliness cut off from our normal lives to know that his grace is sufficient for you his power is made perfect in your weakness. Take joy in that, brothers and sisters. Be glad that God is in control and you are not.